Coindesk turns 10, 2022, how crypto gods turn into monsters FTX's Sam Bankman Fried had been crypto's favorite kid until Coindesk revealed he was actually a non-font terrible. This story is from our Coindesk Turns 10 series featuring the biggest stories in crypto from the last decade. FTX is our choice for 2022. 2022 for crypto was an unprecedented hellscape of disasters, and the collapse of FTX was its culmination. It was also unprecedented for Coindesk. Unlike any previous moment of failure in crypto history, this time we found ourselves at the epicenter. As our reporting triggered the events that unfolded. This resulted in a weird mix of bad and good news for Coindesk itself. On one hand, Ian Allison and Tracy Wang's coverage of FTX, including its egregious balance sheet and chaotic corporate governance, brought Coindesk its first prestigious journalistic prize, the George Polk Award. Coindesk received more mainstream recognition than at any time during the company's 10 years of existence. This feature is part of our Coindesk Turns 10 series looking back at seminal stories from crypto history. This feature about FTX, and other scandals, is our choice for 2022. On the other hand, the tsunami wave triggered by the FTX collapse shook pretty much every significant company in crypto, including Coindesk's parent company DCG and its trading subsidiary Genesis. That unraveling has led directly to talks about Coindesk's potential sale. Dot with major companies like Celsius, Terra Slash Luna, and Three Arrows Capital also collapsing, 2022 was quite a year. Dot out of the blue, before follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.